Good morning and welcome to Happiness Sparkles. And okay, let me just start with telling you that I have already done this tag and it was about two or three weeks ago and I've already told Shannon who is the creator of this tag and it's called More Than Makeup Tag or More To Me Than Makeup Tag, whichever way you wanna put it. And uh, yeah, I had made the tag. It was amazing <laughs> in my eyes. And then I edited, edited it, uh, had it ready to go, and I put it on a new app, like a new uh, editing app. And then I uh, deleted the original. <laughs> yeah, uh, nobody told me that when you did that with this app, that it deletes that as well. Whereas with some of the other apps I have, you can delete it, you can delete the other and, cause I don't have a lot of storage on my iPad. So, um, and that's what I videotape on. So anyway, uh, let's get straight into it. And Shannon is a fellow Canadian and she is absolutely adorable. She does makeup reviews, book talks, tea time book talks. Uh, she takes you out on vlogs sometimes. And did I mention she's Canadian? Yeah, I have very, very few Canadians uh, on my channel. Most of my, most of my followers, when I check my stats, most of my follower, followers and subscribers and friends are from the United States, which, hello, amazing. And I have a few in Britain, I have some in Australia, I have some in Europe and other places in Ireland and, and a few in Canada, which is kind of nice. So let's get started. The first question is, what's your favorite thing about where you live? Well, my favorite thing about where I live is that it's a small town uh, outside of Toronto, Ontario. I love that it's slow paced, uh, the people are friendly, and it's, uh, it's comfortable because I lived in the city for so long when the kids were growing up. And it's comfortable and I've made some amazing friends. I've worked here and it's just warm and comfortable and I just love it. Number two, who is your life and who in your life inspires you the most? Um, well, if it's someone that's living, then uh, the per person who inspires me the most would, would be my sister and she is someone that's been in my life from, since I was born. She was 14 when I was born and her and her husband, who has passed away, Johnny, uh, they both took me under their wing and uh, they were my inspiration and mentors and guidance and all of that good stuff all rolled up into one. Uh, number three is, what are you afraid of? I guess I'm afraid of anything that uh, would happen to my children or my husband. That would be the only thing I'm afraid of. and you know, on a more superficial level, but still, still, you know, for me, I'm afraid of, and that, that, that's wasps. I'm terrified of wasps. If I see a wasp in, coming into the gazebo when I'm outside, I will actually almost have a panic attack. So everyone knows that, and yeah, wasps. Um, what's, number four is, what's the one thing you wish you could tell your teenage self? <laughs> Um, my teenage self, I would say be a little bit more assertive and, you know, uh, write your own book and don't be so pleasing to others. You know, I'm a, I'm a people pleaser and that's something, you know, be, be yourself, you know, be, just put yourself out there and, and, you know, but really, if you were to tell yourself this, when you're younger, you're not gonna listen anyway because you're not mature enough to understand how to do that. That's just my opinion. Uh, number five is, what's something people would su be surprised to hear about you? And, well, there's one good thing and there's one not so good thing and I'll start with the not so good thing. And it's, um, I hold a grudge. I know, I know it's, it's, it's not good. It really isn't good. Um, 
but when my feelings are hurt, they're hurt, and and I I do I I'm learning, you know, again, <laughs> 64. I'm still learning to deal with, you know, letting things go, and and I'm I'm doing well now. I'm doing much better. I'm learning who I really am, <laughs> and it's taken me all this time, uh, you know, in the last few years to realize I can say no to people and you know, and, and not worry about them not liking me. But yeah, I, I tend to hold a grudge, but uh, that's in the past and, and I'm moving on from that, hopefully. And another thing that people don't know about me is as a young teenager, uh, even 11, 12, 13, I wrote songs and poetry. And my dream was to be a songwriter or um, a poet. And... Uh, send my songs off to someone famous so yeah and I destroyed them all because they weren't in my opinion good enough and I wish I had told my younger self not to do that because some of the work was pretty good I think now number six is how do you relax and de-stress um, I walk I listen to music um, I read and I hang out with my family and sometimes I just go into my room and I watch Netflix. Number seven, what do you love? Why do you love makeup? I love makeup because when I put it on it makes me feel pretty and it enhances, enhances my lips, my eyes, my cheekbones. It just makes me feel good. And number eight is, who is the first YouTuber you can remember watching? Well, um, the first YouTuber I can remember watching was, and I don't know his name, but it was a young man who was showing handbags and he had some a beautiful collection. And I remember commenting on his video and saying, oh, I'd love to do a video on a couple of my handbags. And he said do it just do it and I did uh, but the biggest influence the very first influence would have been Allegra Chetty and she's just a young girl and she's from New York City and I often talk about Allegra and I love Allegra so she's my she's my little honey and number nine tell us a favorite childhood memory <laughs> well, my childhood memory isn't just one. My childhood memories are going to the beach, Fort Ballantrae, sitting on a rock, um, singing, writing, you know, writing my poetry and writing my songs. And that's one of my most favorite childhood memories. Number 10 is what's your favorite book or if you're not a reader, a movie? Um, let me see. Nancy Drew. Judy Bloom, Maeve Benchy, Marie Force from the Gansett Island series. Um, those are some of my favorite books. And favorite movies would have to be, and I'm a big lover of anything British, British comedy. Um, I love shows, friends, you know, anything funny. I like funny movies. I like cheesy movies. I like P.S. I Love You. I like 